Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing routine and non-routine problems using data presented in different kinds of bar graphs. Together, let's make learning mathematics fun and easy. This week, we are going to study interpreting data presented in single and double vertical and horizontal bar graph with problem solving. There are basic steps to follow given in the discussion below. What is a bar graph? A bar graph has two axes, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis with labels, titles, and scale. The vertical axis is the group data, while the horizontal axis is the frequency data. Bar graphs may be horizontal or vertical. Bar graphs can also be used to compare data that can be counted. A double bar graph can be used to compare two sets of data normally presented in different colors, one from the other. A legend is placed at the bottom of the graph to help us see what each color means for easy interpretation of data. In solving routine problems using graphs, these are the things to remember. Step 1. Understand What is asked in the problem? Step 2. Plan what operation will you use? Step 3. Solve What is the answer to the problem? How can we solve the problem? And step 4. Look back How can we check that our answer is correct? Let's do this. Read and understand the data in the bar graph. Write the letter of the correct answer. Which is the most sold item in store B? The correct answer is letter A, television. How many items is sold in store B? The correct answer is letter C, 23. The number of blenders sold in store A is? The answer is letter A, 10. What is the total number of appliances sold in store A and store B? The answer is letter C, 57. Let's do this. Solve the given problem using the graph on the right. What is ask? Number of rubber shoes sold for the month of June. What operation will you use? The operation that we will use is addition. Give the complete answer. Mapor Mashu is 40, Malambot is 20, Maganda is 30, Matibay sold 50. 40 plus 20 plus 30 plus 50 equals 140. 
140 rubber shoes were sold for the month of June. Let's do this! Read and interpret the graph. Answer the questions that follow on your paper. What is the title of the double horizontal bar graph? The title of the graph is School Books. What information is found in the horizontal axis? The information found in the horizontal axis is number of books. How many pupils chose math book? Total of 180 pupils chose math book. How many more math books than English books were borrowed? 40 more math books were borrowed than English book. How many math books were borrowed in 2013 and 2014? In 2013, 80 math books were borrowed while in 2014, 100 math books were borrowed. How many more books were borrowed in 2014 than 2013? 20 more books were borrowed in 2014 than 2013. Let's do this! Use the graph in the learning task 3 to answer the following. What is ask? Number of English and math books are in all for 2013 to 2014. What operation will you use? We will use the addition to get the answer. What is the complete answer? English book is equals to 60 plus 80 equals 140. Math book is 80 plus 100 equals 180. 140 plus 180 equals 320. 320 books are in all for year 2013 to 2014. Let's do this! Using the graph below, Answer the questions that follow. What month registered the highest harvest? Why do you think it had the highest harvest? April has the highest registered harvest. The month of April is declared as Panagyaman Rice Festival the national celebration of successful rice harvest. What was the average harvest at of Palai? 235 plus 320 plus 175 plus 208 equals 938. 938 divided by 2 equals 469. 469 is the average harvest of Palay. Let's do this! 
using the vertical and horizontal graph, interpret the data. What is the title of the horizontal and vertical graph? The title of horizontal graph is Borrowed Books in August. The title of vertical graph is Registered Boy Scout in Five School. How many books are borrowed in August? Total of 125 books were borrowed in August. How many Boy Scouts are there in five schools? Total of 200. Ten Boy Scouts are there in five school. Let's do this. Interpret the data in the graph and solve it. Which fruit was sold the most number of kilograms for two days? Oranges and lanzones are the fruits with the most number of kilos sold for two days with a total of 140 kilos sold each. How many of kilograms of fruits were sold in day one? 310 kilograms of fruits were sold in day one. How many of kilograms of fruits were sold in day two? 270 kilograms of fruits were sold in day two. Which day had more kilograms of fruits sold? By how many kilograms more? Day one had the more kilograms of fruits sold with a total of 40 kilograms. More than D2. How many kilograms of fruits in all were sold in two days? 310 plus 270 equals 580. Fruits were sold in two days. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.